Hello everyone, my name is Reith, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, fix a rig for a, specifically for a FNAF model. Uh, and I was taught this from some, some of my friends, and I wanted to kind of just share it because I don't think there's any of that information on YouTube. So what you want to do is make sure you have, if we go over to preferences, you want to have the cats plugin and you also want to have source io which you can, you can find anywhere i don't really have the link for it right now but you want the source io and cats cats is used mainly i use it for combining on the meshes and then source io is how you import sfm models which is what i'm going to be focusing on so what you want to do is go to import <coughs> with source io and imported go over to source engine assets Go away to source model MDL and then go to your folder which I named crowbar. And let's say you know I want to go I'm gonna use Chica, right? So Chica 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 right here. We import. And that's just gonna take a few seconds. Alright. So Chica's in. And when you when you import as a MDL, when you import that way, it will automatically bring in all the materials. So now that we have Chica right in here, we can get start on working on the rig. What I do, I do the rig first, and then I do combining, fixing all, all that. So what we don't want to have is too many materials, which you know we can go over here and combine later. Just go in your front view, and the bones are going to be small, but that's alright. They don't need to be huge. Go to edit, not pose. And you want to you wanna move, like right here. And then the pelvis can go, like right there, that's fine. So what you want to do is click on the top of the pelvis, Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see, and click E. And then just move her up, right? I think right about there is fine. So we're trying to figure out like what sizes are fine. I don't think the size matters. I think it's just the placement. And then you want to click maybe the bottom. Doesn't really matter. And you want to just drag it on, not pressing E. Just click it and then use the directional. Make it bigger so it's clipping in. Maybe make this a little bit taller. And then you want to select this, this the chest bone, and then hit shift, click the spine, right click, go to parent, make, do keep offset, do not do connected, because it will move the bones where you don't want them to be. And to make sure that worked, you can go into pose, I'm going to turn off the texture so I don't have to lag the whole system. And it's moving just how we want. Click the spine. Moving just how we want. We're just gonna keep it on solid because actually that looks a lot better. All right. So now you, what you want to do is click the edge of the the arm bone, click E again, and let's move it to the tip of this ball joint. Most of the time you do, you can uh, do s symmetry. Sim. Uh, most of the time you can sim uh, symmetry and it will work fine. That looks fine, so we're all good there. So what you want to do is click the arm bone, shift to the shoulder bone, and then keep offset. Keep offset. You don't want to, you do not want to parent these and then symmetrize. We, because then this would be parented to this. So let's go to here, to the shoulder bone, and let's name it left. Okay, can I use capital? There we go. Shoulder. Right. Shoulder. Now for VR chat, it wants, you know, the arm, elbow, and hand. Doesn't really need finger bones. Some models, maybe you'll want to add stuff, but you want to make sure it has the arm, elbow, and hand. 
and just do that duplication method to make those fake bones. Alright, so now we go into pose and we make sure it's all good. Alright, that's moving great. Let's click the arm bone. It's moving good. Let's check here. Moving good. Wrong way. And it's moving good. Alright. And then you want to always do this to make sure. Alright. Now we can get to combining the meshes. So you want to open up this little tab here. Click Cats. Model Options. Join Meshes. And that's going to join everything together. And then we go to Material Preview. It all looks good. The stretchiness is part of the the model. It's not really any error. Some models will have that. It's all right. So before you start to optimize it, so let me see all these we can check later. You click the uh, the model. Go into Edit. Make sure this is all selected. Go to Mesh. Go all the way down to Clean Up. Merge by distance. And it's going to merge some vertices. Now for some models, it will break the meshes, like it'll make them stretch a bit. So you want to make sure like you move this. Okay, let's not do that while we're in material preview. So you want to make sure there's not really a lot of stretchiness. Let's go. So this is the head. Okay. This is the mask. Yep. Ooh, and you see that. So that's that's sad to see. We c we would be able to flip up the mask, but this happened, and we don't want that. And I haven't found a solution to that. But we're going to check the. We're going to check the amount of polygons it has. So you want to go over here and click Decimate. 400,000. And what merging does is it will make sure the model is very optimized. It will it'll make it lower, but it will also keep most of the quality. So like if I throw on like 0.5. Look at that. 0.5, 0.1, like very subtle, subtle differences, you can barely even tell, mainly maybe right here I'm seeing, so when I go over to maybe like 0.3, still looks good, 0.2, and there's a point where you want to stop, like when you see too many blocking, too much blockiness on the now, like, look at this. I decimated it to 60, 61,000 from 400, and it still looks the same. Like, let's try point 0.1. That looks good, and it's 40,000. Let's go back to material, or uh, solid, to check for any tears. Not really seeing any tears in the mesh. So we're all good there. The only downside is that the stretchiness happens. Okay, yeah, gotta love Blender lagging. So now it's 40,000, and that's pretty optimized. Not very optimized for Quest, because they want at least like less than 20,000. Like if we did 0.05. It's gonna look very cubic and not very good. Unless you want it to be optimized and look like this, then go ahead. But I'm gonna keep it at 0.1, because it looks fine. So sadly, it can't flip the, the mask, but otherwise it's fine. Hopefully down the line, I'll you know figure out how to fix that issue and make another video on it. 
So now that that's all good and done, you know, you always want to go into your pose mode and just check for any stretchiness. And I'm pressing G to do this. Let's just do the torso last. You know, or it's just not gonna do exactly what I want. All right, so besides the mask not being able to flip up because of the stretchy wires, which, you know, I'll, I'll probably just deal with. It's fine. Uh, we can go ahead we can go ahead and select all. First, you might want to delete the camera and the light. Select all, file, export, FBX. And then let's like put it right here. That's not where it goes. And I'll make a new folder, withered Chica. And name it withered pop it down. Now to get the textures out, we'll come back whenever it's done loading. Oh, we're back. Uh, to get these textures out, you want to make sure you click save, go to the same file the FBX is in, or you know, just just a recommendation. You know, name your file, like in Weather Chica, whatever. And then go back to file, external data, unpack all into files, and then use files in direct in current directory. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna make a folder in that same area where the blend file is with all the textures. And that's that's it. That's how you fix a rig for specifically VR chat. Again, you always want to make sure that the bones are parented to the right things. It, you don't have to parent the shoulders to the chest because when you extrude, they're going to be parented to the chest. You just need to change the arm parents. That's that's really about it. So now you should be able to fix the rig, be able to decimate it so it looks good and it's low poly, and you should be able to know how to export the textures correctly. And if there's any questions you have, you can just put it in the comments. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.